this tutorial, you will learn how to build and deploy the Edge microserver on your Raspberry Pi so that you can begin pushing live data from an AM2302 temperature and humidity sensor to ThingWorks. Before we begin the tutorial, we're going to install some necessary packages on your Raspberry Pi. To complete this step, you will need to have established an internet connection on your Pi. First, we'll do a complete software update by typing sudo apt get update and hit enter. Once this has completed, ThingWorks will require that you install Java JDK 7 onto your Pi so that you can run the Java Virtual Machine and other components which enable your Pi to run applets and applications written in Java code. To download this, type sudo apt get install oracle java7 jdk and press enter. My message here will be much shorter than yours since I already have this installed on my Pi. Next, you'll need to create a directory to hold your projects. To do this, type mkdir projects, or another name you find fitting. Then, to work under this directory, type cd projects. This is where you'll have to pause the video to download the necessary libraries for your AM2302 temperature and humidity sensor. An Adafruit tutorial linked in the accompanying PDF will show you how to do this. In addition, you will need to download Java JDK 7 and Maven onto your computer. Links to these downloads are also in the PDF. After downloading necessary libraries and programs to your Pi and computer respectively, you will have to change the path environment on your computer. This is because your operating system utilizes the path environment to locate needed executables from the command line or terminal window, which we will soon be using. To do this on a Windows, go to Start and click Computer. Then, right-click on Computer and select Properties. Click Advanced System Settings, then Environment Variables. Scroll down under System Variables until you find Path. Once you find it, click it and then Edit. Do a Control A to select all text and paste it into a program like Notepad or Word so you can see the whole path. The portion I'm highlighting is the location of Maven that you'll have to add to your path. Do this by opening up your documents. Click Systems, Program Files, Apache Maven, and then Bin. Next, click the white space in the bar up here and copy and paste this into your text document. Once this is completed, copy and paste this back into the path variable value. and hit OK. Next, we're going to add Java to our user variables. To find Java's location, again select Documents, Systems, Program Files, Java, and then JDK7. Click the white space up here again and copy it. Now, go back to editing the environment variables and click New under User Variables. Enter the name Java underscore Home in all caps and then paste the location of the JDK into the variable value field. Finish by clicking OK. Now we can begin building and packaging the project. Start by locating the folder in your home directory where you save the project code. You can see all the folders in your home directory by first typing echo, percent, uppercase home, percent, hitting enter, then typing ls, and again hitting enter. Next, to go into that folder, type cd followed by the folder name. In my case, it is temperature-thing. Now we will use Maven to run a package command that will create the necessary ThingWorks jar file, which enables the Edge microserver to push data to ThingWorks. To do this, type the command mvn package into your computer's command line. Once this has completed with build success, we'll do our final preparation step before actually deploying onto the Raspberry Pi. This step will give Maven permission to push data from your Raspberry Pi to a designated ThingWorks instance. Start by again opening your documents, navigate to Program Files, Apache Maven, the Configuration folder, then right-click on the settings.xml file and copy it. The settings file is what tells Maven the username and password for your Pi. Next, we're going to paste this into the .m2 directory. However, settings.xml may already exist here. If it does, do not overwrite it. Instead, edit that document. 
edit by opening it in a program like Notepad or Word, and enter your Raspberry Pi username and password. The default is username Pi and password Raspberry. Make sure you save before exiting. The final preparation step is editing the palm.xml file, which is located in the project code folder. Once you have navigated to this folder, again, open it for editing in a program like Notepad or Word. Here, place the full URL of your ThingWorks server instance. Here, paste the application key you generated for your project. Here, paste the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, which you can find using the ifconfig command at the Pi's command line. If you're ready to integrate your data in real time, delete this portion here where it says simulated. Again, make sure to save before exiting. Finally, we can perform the deployment step and run the command for pushing data from your Raspberry Pi. To deploy the code onto your Pi, go to your computer's command line and type MVN deploy. Make sure to type yes when it asks if you want to continue connecting. When this has completed with build success, you can use the command shown in the PDF document to run your example. A successful run will look like this.